If you're watching this video, high chance you're a B2B SaaS founder who is not getting enough positive replies to your outbound campaigns. After watching it, you will finally figure out why this is happening and how to fix it. I've written copy for more than 100 different startups in different niches. And in this video, I'll share some of the principles I follow to get people from half or 0.1% positive reply rate all the way to 5, 10, 15 percent positive reply rates and 20 40 demo weeks now one of the first things we're going to look at is your lead list because if your lead list sucks it doesn't matter if we have the best copy in the world are you sure that your offer makes sense for your list because if you're not sure you can send a zillion emails and not have many ROI outputs from it Check my other videos to learn how to scrape your competitors' users, groups, and set up the filters on different platforms correctly. It's hard to email a good offer to 1,000 millionaires and not to make 10K with it. And after you're confident that your lead list is set up right, then are you sure that you verify the lead lists before putting them into a campaign? Because if you're not doing this, many of emails are actually dead and non-existent and this is running your campaigns so please start doing that then next one is your systems are broken and can scale sorry but this is usually one of the other main factors dmark dkim spf custom tracking domain burned ip domain rotation no warm-up being done excuse me um, no warm-up being done bounce rates above four percent spam rates above four percent or one of dozen other reasons if your infrastructure is lacking some of these elements or some other ones this can be really affecting your campaigns because if for example too many of your emails are going to spam or your linkedin messages are never getting opened then of course again you may have the best copy in the world but if your infrastructure is not there i mean you cannot really scale this one up then the next one now is when we look at the copy because until then look if this is messed up it doesn't matter how good the copy is but say the infrastructure is solid and you have a solid verified lead list why else can you not be getting enough positive replies and that's because your copy sucks so how do we fix it all copy can be broken down into the hook, offer, CTA, and sometimes we use a postscriptum section to pre-handle the top one to two objections. First, hook types. There are four main hooks we use when writing campaign copy with startups. We usually use question, pain point, free value angle, or a case study. Typically in copywriting, you will not find that many campaigns that are not starting with one of these. The question would be, hey, are you selling on Amazon? You get it. Pain point is where we reference the pain point. Free value is where we are offering a lead magnet to hook their attention. And case study is where we play the authoritative game from the start and where we say, look, I've scaled a hundred different B2B SaaS startups, so I can help you scale yours. Then after the hook, we transition to the offer. And here we want to talk about specific outcome or a case study, how we brought someone particular result. This one is the part which most founders mess up. And after we get the offer thing right, I get founders from zero, as I mentioned, 0.1 positive reply rate to three to 12 percent positive reply rates. And I'll link a video how I once rewrote a campaign copy for a food tech founder and it brought them 40K pounds in a few months. So the hook is there, the offer is there, but you may still mess up the CTA. And that's why a couple of things you need to be aware of is you never want to mention the word call or a quick chat when writing your CTA. What I see people doing many other campaigns is like, would you like to have a call? No one <laughs> wants to have calls. That's why your CTA has to be designed such a way that you're offering a conversation about them getting value. So for instance, if we're offering a free funnel audit for email deliverability SaaS startup, 
here we can offer this one we're never talking about would you like to get on a free call we never want to mention the word call and we never say quick chat because if you are the person asking for quick chats uh, this means that high chance you are not getting 20 to 60 demos a week and prospects are not chasing you and that's why it's very important how your messaging converts into the way people treat you and you know i've been helping one other founder who before joining the program they have always been receiving messages like go screw yourself uh, remove me from your spam lists and for example people hating them so much and never being interested in their outbound copy and the issue which was there is that they were like sort of needy and speaking from a wrong angle so for example a typical campaign i would find is like oh would you be please open to have a quick chat about how potentially our solution can help your company and if someone is approaching you speaking with a such a non-exit like needy frame you treat them accordingly is like oh i'm not sure if i would have time yeah okay fine maybe i don't know i've got one slot 10 a.m thursday then uh, of course i will not check any materials coming to the call then i come to the call sit like this and like okay sure show me what you've got and this is exactly when you're having all this dickhead prospects coming to calls who you really don't want to do business with but are in a position where you sort of need to be closing them despite uh, the way they are present there the way how you can finally <laughs> get away from this situation is you change your messaging and you change your messaging both in the outbound copy and across your website instead of being like oh please come to a call and showing others that high chance you're booking below four calls a week instead you can no matter where you are in your pipeline you can set up a authoritative frame and say look we know that our solution delivers insane ROI for people. So if you fall into this criteria with your business, high chance it will print a lot of money for you as well. Click here so we can see when we have time to like review your situation and see if you're a good fit for using our product. You sh first shift this in your mindset and then it converts and it then translates to everything else. And yeah, because you don't want to speak like a person who is getting less than five calls a week. And once you stop doing that, many things change. Because if you can show some badass case studies in your outbound copy and even if you're super early stage and do not have some case studies like oh we our solution got this one st um, startup or this one company half a million i don't know couple million in roi in this couple months time frame it's totally fine because it's all about how creatively you can plug them in because i mean numerous cases when someone would come to me and say look we only have a like bunch of people who are using our solution and then we would find out that oh actually we helped someone get a like 25 percent better return on ad spend and this then translated into them so i mean i had this case happen just a few weeks ago people were sending the outbound copy with them having 10 15 customers already the outbound copy was like uh, we built this thing can you please find some time to take a look and potentially give us some feedback? I mean, you get it. And then I was like, okay, I'm sure from 10, 15 customers, you should have got some decent traction with your product with some of them. And then they say, yeah, this one brand has actually saved quite a ton of money with our solution in their um, like ads. I'm, my next follow-up question is, have you checked how much money you saved them oh yeah it was somewhere around like uh, one million dollars in five months <laughs> and here we get from immediately get from oh please would you be so kind to give us some feedback about our product 
the words look our thing has brought this much money to this one market leader let's chat <laughs> or if you want to explore how this can work for you as well question <laughs> um like or book a time here and yeah it's like few things like this having some creativity there putting it into the right lead list and with the right infrastructure and you should be getting calls out of there every week and in case you're not keen to spend years figuring it out i did it for you so you can go to saaschem.com my website and there i partner with b2b SaaS startups to get them to 50k to 500k mrr within six months using lead flow design and if you want to see if it would be a good fit just Grab a slot there. Thanks for watching and talk soon.